Hi, I'm Dave Bolin, uh, here at Ritzer's booth today at the CTIA show, and here to show you a few of our instruments that we have on display today. First instrument is our spectrum analyzer. This is our spectrum analyzer fam family, the MS2720T that goes from 9 gigahertz to 43 gigahertz. It also offers signal analysis for LTE, wideband, CDMA, CDMA, and GSM. Today what I'm, we have on here is a little demo box that's giving us an intermittent signal that sometimes might happen in interference. And it's coming and going so fast it's really hard for the spectrum analyzer to pick it up. So I'm going to switch to what we call burst detect mode, which puts it into a, a very fast mode that scans it at like a, a million times a second. I know that number's a little bit high, I think it's more like 2,000 times per second. But now you can see how strong that signal really is that we could not see in a normal mode for uh, the spectrum analyzer. So our next uh, demonstration over here is our BTS master. This is our base station analyzer. It's our all-in-one test box that does cable antenna analyzer, signal analysis, power meter, and LTE, wideband CDMA, GSM demodulation. What we show here is uh, our first showing of the LTE-A carrier aggregation uh, that allows us to see multiple frequencies at one time of one carrier. Right now I'm looking at the Verizon network and I'm unable to pick up their AWS band in here. It's a little on the, on the weaker side for our scanner. So we see the carrier one, which is their uh, 700 megahertz carrier, their AWS. I also put on here, we can see other carriers at the same time if we want to. And this is the AT&T carrier that is on there right now, but that's not in the carry aggregation mode. The way you know you're in carry aggregation is looking at the cell IDs and seeing that they have the same cell ID. Our next uh, product that we have on display here is our PIM Master. This comes in different frequency bands for the cellular operators around the world from 700 megahertz all the way up to 2600 megahertz bands of operation around the world, about nine models. What we have on display here is the AWS PCS band, and I've recalled a trace here that's showing a distance to PIM measurement and our high accuracy uh, enhanced distance to PIM showing exactly where the faults are in a cable system. So what a PIM tester is doing is trying to find out where two signals are mixing and creating an unwanted frequency in the receiver band of, of the uh, cell site, and that causes problems in keeping the calls up and maybe even, if it's strong enough, take the cell site down and off the air. So the PIM tester helps find where the problems are and where the distance is from where you're making the measurement, usually located where a connector is in the cable system. You need to go fix the connector and rectify it. This helps the technician know where it is. Also, we can add a Wi-Fi router, and when this is at the top of the tower on the remote radio head, and they're testing the jumpers and the antennas, the technician at the bottom of the tower can operate it with their uh, handset in uh, using a web browser, their tablet, or their PC, and operate the equipment at the bottom of the tower.